Well, they came from all over the country and even the world to run in the largest 10 mile race in the U.S. Of course, we're talking about the iconic Broad Street run. Our Ellen Kaloje was there in the middle of all the excitement. The 45th annual Broad Street Run is in the books, and despite the damp, dreary weather, all the runners and all the spectators said it was a huge success. Good weather, bad weather, we're here. Makes me cry. It's absolutely beautiful. Welcome to Philly, right? This is what Philly is all about. This Philly crowd is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it, so they just, they pump me up. This is absolutely what Philly is all about. The Broad Street Run, where everyone has a story, like Jane Cordero, who's been running it for 40 years. That very first year, I was so young, I had no idea. They sent me a medal in the mail because I didn't even know I won something. But it's been great. I'm so glad to be healthy enough to keep doing it. Go, everybody! Hello, we need more cowbell. Others like Teresa Lutz are huge cheerleaders on the sidelines, waiting for their loved ones to cross that finish line. Yeah, they're very supportive, so it's cool. Maybe next year they'll run it. Yeah. Although Connor's first race may allegedly be his last. Yeah, I'm not doing this next year. This is cool, but this is, yeah, this is fine. I, I, I get it. It was a long run, but I don't think there's a, I'm done. I'm retired. 92-year-old Herbert Thaw says he's hanging up his shoes as well after running his 11th Broad Street, but he's loved every minute. Well, I guess I'm just motivated. I'm challenged. I guess that's what it is. See if I can do it. Oh, all these runners can do it no matter what their age, and they've seen it all. See everything from hot to cold to rain pandemic so virtual runs to this it was a lot of people again but that's kind of what makes it very special everybody's nice friendly and it's going well and you see so many folks running for a special cause like students run philly style a nonprofit that gives kids free running gear and amazing opportunities when i first started in the program hearing being able to complete 10 miles a half marathon a full marathon it just seemed imp impossible and look I just have a bunch of them under my name now. <laughs> so again, the 45th annual Broad Street Run is in the books, and everyone said they will definitely be back for next year, despite the rainy weather. In South Philly, Ellen Kaloje, Fox 29 News.